In today's video, we are going to give you our review of the marketing automation platform, Active Campaign. We're going to talk about what Active Campaign is. We will discuss some of the pros and cons of the platform, and we'll also compare it to some of its competitors. And at the end of the video, we're actually going to walk through some of the main features of the platform. So stick around because you won't want to miss it. Okay, so let's talk about what Active Campaign is. Active Campaign is a software that offers email marketing, marketing automation, sales automation, and CRM functionality. A lot of people actually use Active Campaign over other platforms for two main reasons. The first is that they're among the top in their industry of having emails actually delivered to the intended recipient's inbox. This just basically means that your emails are going to the person that you want them to go to instead of in their spam folder or their junk folder. And the second reason that people use Active Campaign over other email platforms is because of their very powerful automation tool. And we're going to show you this tool a little bit later on in the video. Okay, so now that we've discussed what Active Campaign is and why you want to use it, let's discuss some of the main features of the platform. So the first one is advanced automation, like we just said. You can create complicated automated workflows that improve engagement and conversion rates. Number two is personalization and segmentation. Active Campaign is a really great way of tagging individuals and separating them into their specific categories. This will allow you to target specific groups within a greater email list. Number three is integration capabilities. You can actually integrate 800 50 plus apps with Active Campaign. It has so much functionality. You can use WordPress, Shopify, and a bunch of other third party apps. Okay, so those are some of the main features, but let's discuss some of the pros and cons of the platform before we walk through some of the features. Okay, so the first pro is that it's highly customizable in terms of automation. I know we keep talking about how powerful the automation is. We'll show you here in a second, but just know that there's so many different things that you can do with it, and it really targets a specific group very well. This will help you cater to your specific business needs as well as the specific business needs of your subscribers. Another great feature is comprehensive reporting on your email campaigns. The detailed analytics and reporting features within Active Campaign really help you make those data-driven decisions. The interface of the platform is very intuitive as well. And the customer support is great. They have a chat bot and you can ask questions anytime that you need to. Okay, so let's go over some of the cons. So there is a bit of a learning curve when you get into Active Campaign. You're not going to know how to do everything right away, especially when it comes to the advanced automation features. It'll take some time, but it's not super hard to learn. It's very intuitive. It just might take a little bit of time because it gets complex very fast. Another con is the pricing. It can get pretty expensive depending on the number of users you have and the features that you want. So I actually have the pricing here. We can just go through this briefly. The first plan is the light plan, and that's $29 per month. And this has a lot of the features that you're going to need just starting out. It has inline forms and automation and campaign reports, which we're going to go over here in a second. If you're a small team, it's $49 per month for three users, and it has a couple more things things like lead scoring, conditional content, as well as some more landing pages. It also has WooCommerce and Shopify integration here. So if you're running an e-commerce store, this is probably going to be the one for you. And then the professional use of this platform is $150 per month, and that has five users, and it has a bunch of AI features like predictive sending. You can also do split automations, it has Salesforce integration, and a bunch of other integrations here as well. And then the enterprise version, if you're a true pro, it has 10 users, and it has custom reporting and objects, single sign-on, it has support for HIPAA. It also has unlimited email testing. So depending on your budget, it could be a little bit steep, especially if you're starting out, but that light plan is pretty much everything that you will need. Okay. So now that we've done some of the pros and cons, let's see how Active Campaign stacks up to some of its competitors. So some of the main competitors are MailChimp, Sendinblue, and HubSpot. So the main reasons why people are choosing Active Campaign over these competitors are the following. Like we said, the advanced automation features in terms of emailing are really just unmatched with the competitors. There's also a really comprehensive user experience and the predictive sending and extensive integrations are really powerful, especially if you're at a higher level in your business. So Active Campaign excels in the automation, personalization, CRM functionality. It has comprehensive support and resources, and it's really ideal for businesses creating specific tailored experiences for their customers. So now on to MailChimp. MailChimp is a little bit less sophisticated. It's more straightforward and it's really good for startups. MailChimp really just meets the basic needs for your email email marketing, it doesn't have many of those advanced tools like Active Campaign. HubSpot is really great for businesses looking for a marketing, sales, and customer service all in one offer. They also offer extensive educational services on their higher tier plans as well as scalability. And then Sendinblue really caters to businesses 
that are primarily using email and SMS to reach their customer. And for high volume senders needing basic CRM function, this is going to be good as well. So obviously what platform you choose depends on the needs of your specific business, but I would say that Active Campaign is one of the best in the business because of the advanced tools that they have. Okay, so now that we've talked all about Active Campaign, let's get into showing you some of the amazing features in the platform. Okay, so we actually have a two week free trial with our special link down below in the description for just our viewers to get started with Active Campaign. There's no credit card required for this two week free trial, so it's really at no risk to you. Also, if you do choose to use Active Campaign after your 14 day free trial, our subscribers will get 15% off your annual subscription for Active Campaign. This is a really great deal and it's just for the people watching this video, so make sure to sign up with Active Campaign with our link down below. Once you clicked on that special link down below, it'll bring you to this landing page where you can see start Startup why subscribers save 15%. And like we just said a minute ago, that is going to be off your annual subscription with Active Campaign after your 14 day free trial. To get started with Active Campaign, go ahead and enter your email address here. Once you've entered your email and click start your free trial, then it'll ask you just a couple quick questions and you should have your account set up in no time. This takes under two minutes here. You just have to verify your email address and it's very easy to set up. Now it's going to ask us your name and phone number. Let's go ahead and enter that information in now. Okay. And once we've done that, go ahead and click next step. Now Active Campaign will just ask you a couple of questions about about your business just to make sure that they personalize the experience to you as best they can. So let's go ahead and enter how many contacts we have. If we're just starting out, let's just say it's under 500. Next, you can enter how many employees you have. Let's just say one. And then lastly, you can enter the industry or business that you're in. After you do that, it's going to ask you what other CRMs, applications, or email services you currently use. You can go ahead and just select the ones that you're using here. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click next step. Then it's going to ask you to confirm your email address here. We'll just do that briefly. And once you've entered that, go ahead and click verify. It'll just take a second here to set up your account and you're going to just enter your password in here. Once you've done that, go ahead and click take me to my account. And then before we get to the active campaign dashboard, you can just answer a couple questions here or you can skip them. Let's just go ahead and skip them for now. And here we are on the active campaign dashboard. Now I will say that we have an entire free beginners course on active campaign on the channel. So go ahead and check that out. We're not going to dive too in depth here, but we'll go over some of the main features. And obviously we'll leave that free course link down below too. Okay. So let's briefly just go over some of the main features of active campaign. Okay. So if you go into contacts here, you'll see the contacts list. So there's a couple different ways that you can enter contact information. You can actually integrate from another platform. You can import a CSV file and you can also just add contacts manually. So to import, you just go up here in the right hand corner and you can import a file or you can connect with one of these other programs. And then to add a contact, you just click on the top right here and you can add a contact there. So one of the great features of Active Campaign is that you can tag specific categories of people within a list. So let's go ahead and click on this master contact list and then we'll click on one of the subscribers here and you'll see that you can enter a tag. So depending on where that lead comes in from, let's say they came from our newsletter signup, which is where this one came from, then we can tag them as newsletter. And you can do a bunch of other tags and segment the list down to smaller categories. This is going to be super helpful later and I'll show you why. Okay, now that you know a little bit about lists, let's go over to website here and I can show you how to do some forms. So if you click on forms here, let's go ahead and click on the newsletter. This is the form we created a little bit earlier. It's the exact form that was given to us when you sign in. I didn't really change much here. So you can change things like the different categories as well as the font and colors. You can also change whether this links to a different website when you submit the form or if it just says thank you for signing up. Now let's go to pages over here and basically on a page, you're going to want to have a form on a page. So it's a landing page with your form on it. Okay. So if we go to landing page, you'll see why this form was important. Let's go ahead and click on this newsletter. And this is the landing page for our newsletter with our form included here. And you can do a bunch of different customization. You can change the logo. This was just the template that they gave us for this. But yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do here. I recommend that you take your time and play around with all the different columns, text, and colors that you can change. Okay. Now that you know how to make a form and a page, let's go back to the home and talk about campaigns. Go ahead and click on campaigns here. And then we already have one drafted. So let's click on our newsletter. So this is all the information that you can put in for your campaign. You can put a subject line. That's going to be the first thing that your subscribers see. So you want it to pop and make sure it catches their attention. You also want the pre header to be enticing as well. I left the dot, dot, dot here. So maybe it would get people to click. Then you can put your name and your email. And this email doesn't actually have to be connected to a domain. You can just use your regular personal email. Then you get to pick the list that this is from. So this is just the master list. It's really good to just have one list 
I think, and then segment the population further into those different tags. You can also choose to schedule the email as well as some other tracking and automations here. Okay, let's save and exit this. Another important thing here is reports. Now I haven't sent out any emails here on this account, so you won't see anything here. But once you do send out an email, this will track all your conversion rates, open rates, click through rate, all of that will be here with some really powerful analytic tools. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to show you that's really important is automation. So let's go to automations. Now I'm not going to build out a full automation here. We did that in the course. Go ahead and check that out. I'll just show you exactly what an automation would do. So this is the demo that they give us. Let's just kind of walk through this as an example right now. So you have the power to change all of these different variables. And basically what this is saying is when a contact submits any form on our site, then we're going to send them a welcome email. After they receive the welcome email, they're going to receive a tag with it as well that says trial user. After that, we're going to wait one day before we do the next part here. Let's zoom out a second here. And then you'll see that we're brought to a fork in the road here where we have a no on the right and a yes on the left. And then this part says, does the contact match the following conditions? Has open campaign welcome email. So if you open the welcome campaign, it'll take you down this road. And if you didn't, it'll take you down this road. So let's go the no first. Okay. So if you didn't, it's going to wait another day. So that's two days between emailing here because we have this one and then this wasn't an action. So this is another day here. So that's one, two days. Next, it brings us to another prompt here to see if you've ever visited the pricing page. And there's also another no and a yes as well. So let's go down the no again. So if they haven't visited the pricing page, they haven't opened the welcome email. We're going to add them as marketing lead. Next, we're going to send them their second email here, which says highly unengaged trial. That's just what we're calling it for internal purposes. And we're going to enter the automation here with a free training offer. That's what we're going to send them. Okay. Now that's the end of that line here. Let's go back over here to the yes. So if they did check out our pricing, that's going to take them all the way up to the top of this funnel here. So let's review the yes. So let's go back up to the top here and you'll see that this is after the welcome email. So if they open the welcome email, they'll go down this side of the tree here and they will be labeled as sales lead as well as all the people that checked out the pricing. So all of them are at the same place here in this funnel. They're all labeled either sales lead or marketing lead. So to recap this a little bit from the master list, we have this trial user. So the list is at the top. Then we have the trial user and then the trial user is now broken down into two separate categories of sales lead lead and then a marketing lead. And you'll see on the sales lead after we've tagged them as a sales lead and you'll see on the sales lead, we'll send them an email that says highly engaged trial. And that's different from the one that we sent over here that said highly unengaged. Okay, so once you've received that highly engaged trial email, it's going to add you to this deal high engaged trial for contact. Now this is a CRM function that we're going to show you here in a second. After that, you're also added to a task. This task was likely assigned to somebody and it says call. So one of the internal members is going to be assigned to call this person. And then the automation ends here. Okay, so let's briefly go over the CRM functions and that's under deals, right? Under automation here on the left-hand side. Okay, and you'll see that there's a couple different stages Stages. There's two contact, in contact, and follow up. You can also add another stage up here in the top right hand corner if you like. So, if you noticed on the yes side, those people that were highly engaged that we've labeled as such are going to be added to one of the CRM stages. This is going to allow you to track your customer relations and make sure that no one slips through the cracks. So, let's go ahead and click on the one deal that we have active here. So, you can actually add a task here and assign an internal person to it. And there's a bunch of other really good CRM function here as well, like the last person to contact this lead. So go ahead and check all these features out. It's a really great platform. Those are all the main things that you need to know about Active Campaign to get started. Okay, so that's all we have for you today for our review of Active Campaign. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. We'll leave all the resources that we talked about today, like the different videos, as well as our link to Active Campaign down below in the description. And if you do use our link to Active Campaign, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. So thank you so much in advance for that. It really helps us keep keep creating free content like this for you. Also, if you're looking to start a website and you don't know where to get started, we created a free tool that we'll leave linked down below in the description as well. And lastly, this channel is dedicated to providing business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself with free resources and tutorials like this one today. So thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey, and we will see you in the next one.